I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. You have a Bob CNC router, either an E3, E4, or the K-series router, and you're getting a fault when you try to send it home. The Z-axis will go down a little bit and it'll just quit and you get an alarm on your controller. Or when it's going home, as the whole thing's going back, the whole gantry binds on one side and it tries to move and starts to twist and then just kind of locks up. Well, the problem you have is one of two things. Now, you remember when you were putting the wiring together on this router and you were labeling your wires. You've got the one where you actually had to insert the wire into the black jack and then plug it into the circuit board. That would be the wire labeled HX2. Well, either one of your connectors is not inserted all the way into the jack and has slipped back a little bit, or the entire plug assembly has come loose a little bit. And that is what's going to cause your homing problem in both situations. So go to your machine, push that jack in, push both wires in, and then give them a little gentle tug to make sure they're all connected. And that will solve your homing problem. If that is not the problem, then you probably have a broken wire. Beyond that, probably a controller problem. I am willing to bet against all odds that that is going to be the answer to your problem. And if it is, come back to this video and give it a like, a comment. You can even subscribe. I shoot videos about Bob CNC routers all the time and uh, for CNC tips for beginners and lots of little miscellaneous other CNC router stuff. All right, go back to that machine, push that wire back in, home your machine, and start making more stuff. This is Garrett. I'll talk to you next time.